Stop taking 20 attempts to paint your portraits and watch this guide so you can be equipped with the knowledge to paint and get it done in record time. I think learning how to be efficient is one of the best moves you can make on your art journey because it allows you to explore new concepts and ideas and have more learning opportunities to grow without getting stuck on every painting. I've learned a thing or two in my own process to get to that final product more quickly. So I'm going to share my exact process and I hope you get some value from it. If you want to make good sketches, read William Morgan and Andrew Loomis's books on drawing the face. That's all the knowledge you need, not any useless shorts. Don't start with the features, instead get a general shape and gesture of the face down with the silhouette. After you've defined that and it looks convincing, then start with the eyes because they're the focal point on the painting. And, and then, once they're appropriately defined, use simple shapes to block out everything else. You don't need a completely clean sketch, you just need to convey the basic ideas so we can get onto the painting. Now that our sketch is down, let's get a multiply layer and find the basic shapes that define our character. This is where we get their likeness. One really awesome tip that I've learned is to stop looking at things linearly. That is, always representing things with lines. This can be good, but also make sure that you're breaking things down in your head and on the canvas in shapes and form, because in nature, lines don't exist. What artists interpret as lines are just two contrasting values that share an edge. After we have the shadow down, let's get our lighter value. In this painting, I'm picking a cooler color that's brighter and less saturated, and find the basic areas where our light is located. In this stage, start adding in some saturation with various colors. In this scenario, my character is in sunlight, so I'm going to add a saturated orange yellow to the area of light. I'm also going to add some purples to the areas of shadow to complement the yellow and because I personally prefer to add a bit of purple in my shadows. I'm also adding a saturated bright red to areas where the flesh show through more, like the wings of the nose, the tip of the ears, and um, the cheeks to give my character some more life. Now that that's done, let's define the form turning with soft gradated edges to shadow and put harder edges where a shadow is being cast or where there's a strong change in the planes. In this stage, I'm merging all my layers and ditching the multiply. And now when I'm defining my stronger shadows, I'm using a more saturated warmer color from the local color and creating some nice edges with light. I might also use a color dodge layer as well to create a more saturated, strong light. Now to render, merge all your layers including your sketch and start defining the contours with shifts in value. Like I said earlier, lines are just where values meet. So start replacing the lines with those variations in value while also retaining the planes and shapes of the shadow in order to maintain that likeness. I'm going to do this everywhere in the piece where there are lines present. For the hair, I'm going to use this technique where I push different light and shadow colors into each other to create a gradient and follow that up with individual strands. I'm also going to look 
add basic shapes of the hair while I do this. After everything is mostly rendered out, I add some color variation again like how I explained previously and add two layers. One multiply and one hard light just to exaggerate and saturate various shadow and light areas of the portrait. I've gone through this before in a previous video so I'll have it linked but pretty much this part consists of me adding some Gaussian blur around the focal point to bring more attention to it, adding chromatic aberration, some texture with different brushes and noise. I'll also add some line art in just to give it a more stylized look.